In other news tonight, thieves are now targeting Bay Area coin shops and going to great lengths to break in. We've heard from several store owners since our story aired last tonight, all sharing similar experiences within the last couple of months. And Cronford's Taylor Basaki talked to one Concord coin shop owner who says thieves made off with nearly $200,000 worth of inventory. It's a big loss. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of stuff. Good. Place and this, you know, it just kind of breaks you. Manny De La Campa says he's been struggling to recover ever since thieves seen in this surveillance photo with their getaway vehicles broke into his shop known as U.S. Coins and Jewelry in Concord and stole nearly two hundred thousand dollars worth of inventory in April. Gold bracelets, gold chains, and uh, silver too. Watches. A lot of them, good watches, Rolex watches. Well, two Rolex watches and uh, about another dozen different watches. De La Campa says the burglars took a handful of other items and also caused thousands in damages. They have broken into the front iron gate, the main door, then the cage, which is like a jail cell. They have opened the safe. Something many other coin shops across the Bay Area also experienced over the past couple of months. We first showed you this most recent surveillance video from early Tuesday morning, which shows two suspects breaking into Martinez Coin and Jewelry Exchange. The owners say surveillance video also captured a group of thieves breaking into their Vallejo location back in March. I believe it's the same bunch of people that are pretty much the same ammo that are used Fast cars, uh, in and out right away, use chains, hooks, pin trucks, and uh, crowbars. They know exactly what they're looking for. Meanwhile, new surveillance video from an Oakland coin shop shows another group of suspects using a U-Haul truck to ram down the store's gate and doors in order to gain access. The owner of that store says the thieves made off with about 20 grand in merchandise and caused $90,000 worth of damages. There's no recourse. Nobody's doing anything about it. De La Campa and other owners are now speaking out to grab the attention of their city leaders to do something about the rampant high-end heists. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting Cron 4 News.